In the last video, we took a look at using weight to influence the BGP best pass selection. In this video, we're going to take a look at local preference. So what we have here is the same network, and we're going to be taking a look from R6's perspective. Now, there are two prefixes that we're going to be interested in. Uh, the first one is going to be this shared segment between 4 and 5, which is the 10.0.45 network. And the next one is going to be this route over here, which is 10.0.12. Now, R2 is advertising this here and here. And then R6 is learning about both of those networks from both routers. So let's take a look at the current state of the network, and we'll see how we can use local preference to influence it. So the first thing I'm going to do is on R6, do a show IP BGP. And we can see a couple things. Um, the first is going to be that from R6's perspective, going to the 10.0.12 network, we are preferring the next hop of five. So let's take, make a mark of that. That traffic is going this way. Then to go to the 45 network, our next hop is four. So it's currently going like this. So let's take local preference and let's change that. So instead, going to the 12 network, we're going to want to go through four. And then going to the 45 network, we're going to want to go through five. So let me quickly draw that that's what we, how we want to do it. So instead, what we're going to want to do is for this link here, we're going to go next top four in that way. And then let's take a different color here. And we'll say for this network here, we want to go this way. All right. So how do we do that? Well, we could use weight like we did last video, but instead let's use local preference. And if we take a look at our network, we could see that the local preference here um, is empty. Now that is because it's, it's currently using the default. So if we do a show IP BGP for one of the links, so let's say 12, zero slash 24, we could see that local preference is indeed 100 for both, which is our default. Now we can change the default very easily. Comp T, we have to go into BGP and the command is BGP default local preference. And I don't know, let's change it to 500. And then we can clear IP BGP bin, show IP BGP. You, we still don't see it there, but if we take a look, now we can see the local preference is 500. So by default, the local preference will now be 500 for all of our routes. Doesn't help us in getting the, the traffic to flow the way we want it to, but a command I wanted to show you. So how do we get that to work? So let's first take a look at this route to 10.0.45 through R5. We first need to match the prefix. We could do this with a prefix list or an access list. Um, I'll do both. So I'll start with an access list. And it's just access list 5. Uh, actually, we're not doing 12. I'm sorry. We're going to do 45.0. And it is slash 24 route. And it helps if you put permit in the access list. Okay. Now we're going to do a route map. And let's just call it R5. And we're going to match the access list we just created. So it's address 5. And we're going to set the local preference to, um, let's set it to 600. All right. Now for the rest of the routes, permit 20, let's just have them do a local pref of 100. All right, so now we have to go to back to BGP. Let's take a look at the neighbor, which is 10.056.5 in our case. We're gonna do a route map R5 in. Now, you may be wondering why I'm doing in instead of out. Let's just go back here. We could do 
apply map to incoming routes, apply map to outgoing outbound routes. Now, the reason we're using in is because even though we're influencing the traffic outbound, so let's take this. So even though I wanna say, oh yes, go outbound to five, it's not an outbound route because this isn't the route that we're advertising to five. In fact, it's the route that five is advertising to us. So on that route, we wanna apply the route map and set the local preference. So that's why we use in here. So we're setting it on the inbound, the received route in order to influence the outbound traffic. And this is gonna be a common thing in, in setting BGP attributes is if you wanna influence outbound traffic, you do it inbound. And if you wanna influence inbound traffic, you set the route map outbound. So let's take a look at what effect that had. All right, now we could see that 10, 0, 12, 0 from 5 has a local preference of 100, and 10, 0, 45 has a local preference of 600 from R5. So this actually satisfies both scenarios where, you know, we knew the local preference was a default to 500. Um, so for 12, we're preferring the route through four. And then for 45, we're preferring the route through five. So this is a great way if it says, you know, using only one route map, you know, have these, these things. Let's say you're in your CCIE lab. Using only one route map, make sure the traffic to 45 is going through five and make sure the traffic to 12 is going through four. <laughs> okay, we did that. But just to show you another example of how we could use the local preference, I'm going to do a second route map for R4. And in this case, I'm going to use a prefix list. So let's do IP prefix. And we'll just call this one um, P4. And we'll permit 10, 0, 12, 0, slash 24. And we'll do a route map R4. We'll match the prefix list. So it's prefix list uh, P4. And we'll set the local pref to 600. And again, we'll do R4 um, permit 20. And we'll set the local preference to 100. Now we have to go into BGP and again, go to the neighbor, which is 10, 0, 46, 4. Set the route map of R4 and again, it's inbound. So we're going to clear BGP inbound and let's do a show IP BGP. So now we could see we have our local preference everywhere because we no longer are using our newly created default. Now, don't let this confuse you. Local preference by default is 100. I'm just explicitly configuring here because I changed my local preference to default to 500. So this satisfies all of our things. Again, 212, our best route is going through four because it has a local preference of 600 where the one from five has a local preference of 100. The route to 45 is best through five because our local preference is 600, where the one through four has a local preference of 100. So this is how we could use local preference to influence outbound routing. Um, hope, hope you guys either learned something or it was a good review. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, and I'll see you on the next video where we continue through the BGP best path selection process.